you. All of us together. All right. I don't know, are you? Well, my first time I asked for it. I do. And uh, it was your kind of busy with a million dollar profit for me. I remember that, yes. And then you should have been called down. I don't know. I kind of put it off. I tried to get you. I'm helping you with the project. I know. I wasn't, yeah, I, I totally did a contact angle, but yeah, it wasn't something I could do while I was in the spot. I could do any connection with people at all while I was in Canada. So I had to be on. See, I was filming with Robert West right here, yeah. top watcher, and we were at the grocery outlet last year. And uh, when I told the uh, grocery outlet security that I put their address on glass, we're talking about the grocery outlet. Bob's the First Amendment activist to the extreme. I don't know if you're behind going to people's homes or schools, children, and filming their kids. I told Bob the ball about that. Unfortunately, it's a good reason I don't know who's watching them. I don't know who's watching them. I can't see it. I think I gotta know exactly what's going on. It's been a false narrative that I'm dangerous to women. Ever since they booked a man in the county, April 22nd, I just got notes of that from the county district attorney. Two years after I was yelling, the Portland police girl booked a man in the county as I don't know how to get any questions. I went to the district attorney's office and they said that the transfer of papers to the plane. He's facing the plane. That means that the officers are just going to take the plane and now I'm going to answer all the officers. And they're basically saying that they're arresting them because they heard about the game earlier in the day. Even though this individual didn't have a camera or wasn't behaving in any way that I had to look at. But it created a narrative that I was dangerous to women. And so far, the city of Portland has really embraced that narrative. In fact, I stabbed myself. So, uh, arrested 18 times, so I'm really quite, you know, I'm happy to get this opportunity. I've worked with politicians and others for a really long time. Usually, I guess, put you guys on a, a pedestal and let you guys do what you guys are going to do. Today, I'm going to get things up. I told people we were dating that. I just put a video that I have up in my YouTube channel that I wanted to talk a lot. It's a very complicated politics. I want to feel accountability. Is, you know, so maybe we can get a route there, but unfortunately, it seems to be more politics on my end. And so, I, I know you're well established. I've seen a lot of you that you're speaking and whatnot. So I just want to make sure that you understand the reality, you know, the, the world that I see that you create that I've become aware of as an athlete. We could talk about the And I've had this conversation so many times. Yes, and I, would, I wouldn't mind that, but the black male experience. Because we're being specific when we talk about certain things like we were today. So I, if we're going to be specific, I would like to talk about the fact that the game is killed and it's not over for the black male. And, and even though I don't know, I've heard you speak so, you know, so, I, And you know this. You know, so, you know, I've had a long day. I want to go home. Is there an issue with what I said? Yeah. I have no issue with anything that you said. Okay. It's just I think that you have a very aggressive manner that really is off the right. Oh, okay, so it's triggering. Uh, you're a yes. cop watch, right? It's like triggering. It's I'm like triggering? For, yeah, it is. And you? Okay. When you raise your voice, oh, yeah. it makes people really uncomfortable. I've been arrested 18 times. Would you like to see the scars? I know that you've experienced trauma, and I know that that's why stuff happens to you, but like, it also so then triggers the people around you when you raise your voice. And well, stuff, okay, so. so it's my fault. Everybody here, this white ally here, well, this is cop watching from, and it's my fault. It's I didn't my say fault. It's your fault. Hmm? I didn't say it's his fault. I just said it's the fact that it's triggering. It causes everybody to get really anxious. Mm -hmm.
What the fuck was that? <laughs> Your aggressive manner is scary.